Okay, three and one again on the show yesterday. That puts us nine, three, and one with all free plays to start the week here on the Power Five. In case you're wondering why that's only 13 plays, it's because I've also given out a couple football futures here this week. Texas A&M plus 200 to make the college football playoff and the Jacksonville Jaguars plus 130 to make the NFL playoffs. Today's five free winners, though, all Major League Baseball. Once again, we're going total heavy. Two plays in the daytime, one for Paul Skeens, and then two more for the national TV games on Fox. Go ahead and smash that like button if you've been enjoying these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on today's card. We're going to start the Power 5 by taking the over in Rockies Nationals today. This is a 105 Eastern Time start. Now, certainly... Taking the over when the Rockies play at Coors Field is not something that requires much justification. But this afternoon, they're still on the road. We know this. Uh, They're still bottom three in runs per game away from home outside of Coors. However, the starting pitching matchup for Thursday is Cal Quantrill against Patrick Corbin. Ugly as it gets, everybody. Quantrill, he's allowed two home runs in back-to-back starts. 4.59 ERA and 1.41 whip for the season. And he's the better starting pitcher in this matchup because Corbin, we I know it, you know it, we all know it. He has been the worst starter in all of Major League Baseball the last five seasons. He's also 0-5 in the daytime this year. Both these bullpens also stink. In fact, the Rockies bullpen has the worst ERA in either league. Something tells me we'll be seeing them earlier rather than later today. This matchup's set up for a lot of runs. Over 8.5 Nats, Rockies. Yes, I would play this even at 9. Number two. We're going to take the Brewers over their team total of three and a half against the Cardinals. This is another day game, 215 Eastern. Reason that we just want to uh, focus on Milwaukee and their team total is they are facing Miles Mikolas, who is absolutely terrible. He's given up five runs each of his last two starts, 9.22 ERA and 1.83 whip his last three starts, 6.53 ERA for the season here at home. By just focusing on the Milwaukee team total, we don't have to worry about the St. Louis Bats, which erupted for 10 runs in a come-from-behind effort last night. The less said about that, the better. I am just sick over what that Milwaukee bullpen did to me last night. I also don't want to worry about Freddie Peralta, who's starting today for the Brew Crew. Let's just call for Milwaukee to score four runs today. That should not be a problem. I think they can do it off Mikolas even before we get to the Cardinals bullpen. You're going to have to lay around minus 145. If that's a little too heavy for you, maybe just look at Milwaukee's team total in the first five innings. But they are guaranteed to come up to bat in all nine innings in this game because they're the road team, obviously. Mikolas, 6.75 ERA in his two previous starts against the Brewers this year. He's given up eight runs in 10 and two-thirds. That is Milwaukee team total over three and a half. Third, uh, we've been fading a lot of bad starters so far. And we're going to look to fade Paul Skeens on Thursday as well. He is not a bad starter. Uh, He and the Pirates are hosting the Reds in a series opener tonight. But if you're a regular viewer of the program, you know that fading Skeens is something I've been doing regularly of late. The rookie Phenom seems to be fatigued. He's got 11 walks his last four starts, a 4.15 ERA in August. But the thing is, I don't really want to bat Red starter Nick Lodolo either. He's really been struggling since coming off the IL, guys. Eight starts, 7.3 OERA since July. He gave up eight runs in just two and a third his last time out. So over seven and a half for me in Reds Pirates tonight. We'll keep the free plays going in just a minute. Before I get to the two national TV games, though, let's all celebrate because today is Wager Talk's 10th anniversary. We've got a four-day offer going on right now. Until Sunday, you can enjoy 30% off any all access pass purchase that's one day three days seven days 30 days even up to a full year football right around the corner guys week zero is saturday florida state georgia tech great time to get on board you will need to use coupon code 10 year that is one zero y e a r at checkout to get that 30 percent discount but there's no limit as to how many times you take advantage over the next four days Happy anniversary to wagertalk.com. All right, back to the MLB plays. There are two games on Fox tonight. Depending where you live, you'll get one of them. Uh, I've got plays on both, so you can watch and win regardless. Let's start by laying some juice. 
to take the plus one and a half on the run line with Houston against Baltimore. This is too big of a price on a Baltimore uh, team uh, that was swept by the Astros back in June. Yes, Corbin Burns is on the hill for the Orioles tonight, but he got rocked last time out. Allowed eight runs in four innings. O's have been slumping a bit, losing four of six overall. Spencer Eric Getty has been better for the Astros uh, in the second half. Three double-digit strikeout games his last nine starts. I like the idea of having the one and a half runs in our back pocket for this series opener. So play Houston on the run line Thursday. Now, if you're not watching Astros Orioles, then you're going to be watching Phillies Braves. If you caught yesterday's show, you know we cashed the under in Phillies Braves and we're going to play it again today. Spencer Schwellenbach has allowed three earned runs or less, six of his last seven starts for Atlanta. Meanwhile, Philly starter Christopher Sanchez just went the distance his last time out. He allowed just one run on two hits. That was against Washington, admittedly. But he's going against a a depleted Braves lineup today. The one bit of caution I would uh, say to Phillies fans, don't get too excited, even though you won last night 3-2, because Atlanta's got one of the top bullpens of the game, even without setup man A.J. Minter. So under 8 is how I have to play this one. By the way, Bryce Harper. 0 for 14 with seven strikeouts against Braves pitching this season. My word, it's not good. All right, let's recap today's Power 5, shall we? Number one in the daytime, Nats, Rockies over eight and a half. Number two, Brewers over team total three and a half. Number three, Reds, Pirates over seven and a half. Four, Houston, plus one and a half on the run line against Baltimore. Number five, Phillies Braves under eight. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already have done so, smash that like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Not only do I drop the Power Five daily, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. That does it for the Power Five today. Do not forget about my 5% college football win total that's still available. I've got a 70% record since December 2022 with college football max bets. Many of you took advantage uh, at a half-off price yesterday. You can still take 30% off with that coupon code 10YEAR. That's 10YEAR. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.